The Boucher nuclear plant is the most visible component of Iran's nuclear program. While President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad says his country has the right to nuclear energy for peaceful purposes, Western powers suspect that Iran is developing a nuclear bomb. But regardless of Iran's intentions, Tehran already has plenty of nuclear materials and technology in place. Uranium ore mines in Sagand and Gachin. The Isfahan facility reprocesses uranium. In Natanz and Fordo, Iran enriches uranium. Iran is planning to install even more powerful centrifuges, allowing it to enrich uranium to up to 20 percent. The fuel could be used for fuel rods, but it could also be a step towards producing a nuclear weapon. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is alarmed. While U.S. President Barack Obama continues to push for sanctions and talks, Netanyahu has threatened a direct military strike against Iran's nuclear facilities. The most recent step and the announcement that the centrifuges are being modernized is a further escalation for Israel. And to a certain extent it confirms the view of those who see Iran as the most dangerous actor in the region. Iran's spiritual leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei recently reiterated his opposition to direct talks with the U.S. Tehran has said it's open to talks with the international community under certain conditions, but it's barred nuclear inspectors from accessing its facilities. The International Atomic Energy Agency also still hopes diplomacy will work, with the next attempt taking negotiators to Kazakhstan later this month. The people of Iran are feeling the punishing effects of international sanctions. Tehran's oil exports have fallen by half in the last nine months. The value of its currency has plummeted, while gas and food prices have soared. The aim was to stifle Iran's economy, and then the hope was the Iranian people would rise up against the regime. It was an idea that was bound to fail. Iran's leaders have refused to budge. President Ahmadinejad says he will only agree to full negotiations once the West drops its sanctions.